KHC's Taylor Tool joining you from the roads of Lafayette Parish. And if you drive through the area, you may have noticed some of your favorite local businesses closing up shop, moving to a new location, or maybe a new local business is taking its place. But have you ever thought about why? Chef Paul Gibson has. They have a lot of great restaurants in Lafayette. Uh, you better know what you're doing, for one. You better serve great food. Especially lately, as closures of chain restaurants like Hooters and Burger King make headlines. Those chains are worried about the bottom line. When the bottom line dips, they close up. Local places aren't going to do that. They're going to fight through it. Fought through COVID, fought through the recession. You know, they're here to stay. So it saddens me when I see a local place. Then Sam, you want to see the other guy. In the business for around four decades, he tells me he knows the struggle. The Bonnie Bell's Bistro. We wrote for 10 years, uh, then we shut down. Uh, I'm not going to say took a break, but um, decided to do other avenues, and then I had a chance to open this up, and I jumped on it. This being Gather, a new restaurant serving everything from burgers and tacos to chicken shawarma and Korean dishes. It's an establishment he established in less than a month. It was just hard work and grind and pushing and, and pleading and, you know, sometimes getting on people's nerves. And, but it was like it's, like, it's still my dream. Even though it's my second restaurant, it's still my dream. So I, I was going to get it done one way or the other. People thought I was crazy. The cold weather today, so... We got some good gumbo going on today. John Young, co-owner of Cafe Coachella on the Evangeline Thruway, knows the feeling. With new things opening up, I mean, food parks, they got food trucks. You know, it's really tough for an established to make it right now. I first met him and his business partner, Lucian Benoit, two years ago when they moved the restaurant from Lafayette's Moss Street to the Thruway. Their goal, to build up the north side of the city, the gateway to Acadiana, by serving food from the soul. Do you guys feel like that's happening? Really, truly, not necessarily. Hmm. Not necessarily, because there's nothing to offer on the north side. We tried our best to upbring the north side, but to be honest with you, we to the point where we don't know what else to do. Everything is a pass by right now. You come to the north side, you just pass by. Lafayette economic developers say this has to do with several factors like aging infrastructure, crime, and a southern shift in population across the city over the last two decades. We are working feverishly with our um, local elected leaders, with our other economic development allies in the community, with workforce development partners, education partners, uh, to ensure that we enhance the attractiveness of North Lafayette and really not just North Lafayette, all of our municipalities in this community. Either way, Young, a North Lafayette native, says he's going to continue growing where he's planted. The location was great. I still feel it's great, you know. That's why I liked it, the location. Even without that foot traffic that you might have seen if you moved to another part of Lafayette? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> if you'd like to learn more about these local restaurants, you can visit our website, katc.com. In Lafayette Parish, for Acadiana's News Channel, I'm Taylor Toole.